Hey guys, welcome back to another ASMR mukbang eating show. Today I have some homemade spaghetti with beef. Oh my god, you guys, this recipe was so good. I got it off Pinterest last night because I had some friends coming over. And actually, let me look it up on my Pinterest because I'm almost sure it's called taco spaghetti. But I don't remember that well. But it's the simplest recipe and it's so delicious. I saved it on my Pinterest because oh my yes that's what it's called it's called taco spaghetti and basically I'll tell you really quick what it has so good my friends loved it <laughs> first time I make it um and I'm gonna put in the description box uh a link to this recipe so you guys could pin it and try making it because it's the most delicious thing in the world and it's super simple to make. Okay, so basically what you do is you start cooking your spaghetti according to package directions in a separate skillet. Cook your ground beef. Once it's cooked, you drain and then season it with taco seasoning. And what else? Drain your spaghetti and return it to the pot. Add ground beef, Rotel, you know those cans of Rotel tomatoes that brings tomatoes and chili? So you add that to your spaghetti, you mix, and then you place in a casserole dish. Top with shredded cheese and pop it in the oven. That's it for 10 minutes until the cheese gets bubbly. The cheese is me Mexican cheese. Let me look for the ingredients so that way it's easier. Okay, so you're going to need olive oil, one tablespoon, white onion diced, half a cup, garlic minced, one tablespoon, ground beef, one pound, taco seasoning, two tablespoons, Rotel, two cans, spaghetti, 10 ounces, and Mexican blend shredded cheese, one cup. And then you chop some cilantro, about two tablespoons. You guys, it's glorious. It's really, really good. I made twice the recipe because it was about four, five, six. It was like six of us. So I made twice the recipe. But if you're just making for you, like, or in your family, you can, one pound is, is okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It is so good. And the meat, like the beef. Is a little spicy you know because those cans of Rotel tomatoes also brings chili in it so mm. Mm. A very unique recipe taco spaghetti <laughs> I have never heard of that before But I'm always inventing, always looking for new recipes. Mm. And I served myself a little bit of leftovers and I put some Parmesan cheese on top. Mm. Let me drink some water. Very, very simple to make. Super, super delicious. It has such a wonderful taste, and those chopped onions that are in there, it's still very hot because I heat it up for like four minutes. <laughs> and I had saved some leftovers to send to my parents today, and for David so they could have some at work, but 
they had already eaten lunch, so I had it in my fridge. I was like, well, I'll just heat it up for me then, because I'm starving. <laughs> Mm. And it came out really, really good. Definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like the chair is pulling my hair. Definitely a new way to make your spaghetti other than the same usual way you're used to making it, you know? super delicious and it gives it gives it such a good flavor mm -mm. oh and also <clears throat> the cilantro in there so good. Mm. And last night we had it with some garlic bread. Mm. David bought some breadsticks and we made them in the oven and it was the perfect side to go with these spaghetti. <laughs> mm. Those Rotel and chili tomatoes give it just the perfect spice, the right amount of spice. Now, I, I think I kind of misjudged the amount of meat to put in it. I put like two pounds, but since I made double the pasta, I should have made more meat. So I should have added like four pounds instead of two. That, once again, because I, I was cooking for more people than usual. Mmm. But like I said, if you're just making this dish for you and your family, it's more than enough to follow the recipe as is. Just with one pound of spaghetti or whatever, and one pound of meat, or two, I mean, two pounds is fine. Mm. But it's still very delicious. I mean... I've always been the type of person that when I make a dish that has pasta and meat together, for example, a spaghetti with beef or baked city, I don't like the meat to overpower the pasta. I always like for it to be more pasta than meat. That's just me. <laughs> mm. But everybody's different. <laughs> mm. Very yummy, very flavorful. Mm. Why, you guys? So good. Mm. 
Mm. It makes you so thirsty, though. I guess the seasoning, the seasonings on the meat and everything makes you a little thirsty, but oh, definitely delicious. Definitely worth trying it. I'm going to post a link to the recipe down below so you guys could make it and let me know how it turns out for you because it's how did the Italians go magnifico <laughs> I love it awesome two thumbs up <laughs> all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this mukbang I hope you got to eat some yummy food along with me and as always I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys